So he's into first, and this is our leader after the short program, Mikhail Koyata, the 22-year-old from St. Petersburg, Russia. And the decks have kind of cleared for him. The two most closest competitors, Boyang and Fernandez, second and third after the short program, both faltering. And Koyata was also in the driver's seat to begin with, leading by nine points. So really things opening up for him to just, with any kind of sound performance, come away with his first gold medal it's in kinda, a Grand Prix. It's kind of like here. Let me get the door for you. Yeah. Skating to a Presley medley. I'm a steamroller, baby. I'm on a roll. Planning three quads on paper, opening with his quad lots, and oh, boy, oh boy. I'm going to inject your soul with some sweet rock and roll and shoot you for. Hardest jump is the one after a fall. This a quad sal cow opens it. Looking very loose in this compared to his short triple axel, and he's got a beauty. There you go. had a chance now to settle down a little bit, hopefully talk himself back into the game somewhat. Next jumping pass is the planned quad toe. Was beautiful in the short program. And there, he has it again in the free skate. And again, better to fall. He'll pick up a lot of points with the fall on the quad lots, but none when you open up the triple axle into a single. Is it counterintuitive, though, to it is. try it is. and fall totally. when you could stay on your skates? Yes. Especially if you're kind of a performer and an artist, it's tough to be reckless. Well, it's Saturday night and I just got paid. I'm fool about the money, don't want to try to save. My heart says go, go, have a time. Saturday night, baby, I'm not feeling about the money. Remember, he had a 20-point lead over Max Aaron, a 10-point lead over Jin Boyang.
Well, what a turn of events. And not easy to turn the program around after a tough start. But still high technical scores. Surprisingly high in my in my opinion. Compared to those of Max Aaron. No, Max Aaron guaranteed to be on the podium. Yes, here. yes. But with three quads and a clean program. However, McCall fought back. Now that's why you get that margin in the short program. Yeah. Leading by nine, yeah. give yourself a cushion in case things do go somewhat sideways in the free skate. So here's a look at his quad. Lutz pulls the upper body and just is not over his feet. A hard fall, but he will still pick up about eight points for that. So huge scores for that mishap. And that's a pop. Points on the board. Important not to let it get into your head, though. He has a gorgeous triple axle, straight up and down. Does it in combination. But he popped a second triple axle, which was surprising to me. It's such a good jump for him. A little charm for the judges. That doesn't hurt. <laughs> and also, no doubt helped by the fact that Boyang and Fernandez, who were second and third after the short program, really struggled today. Didn't push Kolyana the way he may have expected. Didn't force him to be at his best. So without that serious challenge, things were opened up from the start. Kolyana in the driver's seat. We saw the popped axle, but before that, the quad in the second half of the program, and that was huge for him to get that in there. Now this is going to be back-to-back -back podiums in the Grand Prix season for Mikhail Kolyada, third at the Grand Prix of Russia recently in Moscow. And now looking for his first ever win here in Beijing. A 22-year-old who's a favorite to make the two-man Russian team in Pyeongchang for the Olympics in February. It's free skate, third best. Now that'll be enough for the win. Yeah, the overall will take him with the season's best up top at just shy of 280 in his first ever Grand Prix victory. <laughs> He's telling his coach, hey, I won. She's looking, she's going, huh? He says, I won. And he may just get to the Grand Prix final. A third and a first in his two Grand Prix events, back to back, Russia and China for the 2016 Russian silver medalist and Russian junior champion from 2013.